This is Tony Hendrick and this is Painting Spirit and today's theme is going to be Foundation. What is your foundation? And what we're looking at here is a mural I've painted to install on somebody's home foundation. And you get a opportunity to see my studio today. And this is where I set up this is my palette. A little messy. Got my yellow. And Here's my brushes. I like these. I like these long these long brushes a lot. Some soft ones. And some firm ones. Some variety, some little ones. I like to have a bunch. All right, so let's set up and get painting. So today's theme is foundation. What is your foundation? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out together. What is foundation? We um, a lot of times talk about building a strong foundation, but just looking at those trees, is that really what's needed is to build a foundation? Or do you already have one? I'll start out with my yellow today because I didn't get to use it yesterday. Let's just go ahead and fill the whole thing yellow. So foundation, so you're looking at those roots and those trees. And they twist and turn. Each one of those trees has a unique foundation. But they're all connecting to the same thing. In this case, it's Mother Earth. But that source that they're connected to has all kinds of um, labels we've given it. Source is one. God might be another. Love. Whatever can never be really captured with a word because that kind of gets us away from it. It's a little bit like, let's take one of those trees as an example and say a butterfly lands on one of its branches and the tree goes, oh my gosh, that butterfly is so beautiful. And it enjoys the beauty of the butterfly. And the butterfly, of course, is enjoying the shade of the tree. But what happens when that butterfly flies away? Does the tree uproot itself to chase after the beauty of the butterfly? Well, let's a little like what can happen with us. I know it happened with me in doing these painting meditations. I had this idea, I was, I think, a last, well, I think it was around the beginning of the year to do these small 
painting meditations and I was really excited about it. Um, and I started getting, putting them together. Didn't ha I didn't talk during them because I couldn't think of a way to talk while painting. <laughs> that seemed too terrifying to me. And <clears throat> so I edited them and got them just right, played around with ways of presenting them. Um, put some cool music to them and they were fun, but a lot of work and I was kind of caught up in the the idea of how they might be received. And that became too much for me. Not only just the, the work that was involved with, you know, getting them put together, but just me getting caught up in my head, really. So a friend had suggested to me that I talk during these painting meditations. And that <laughs> was, like, I was caught up in, you know, no, this is the way it's gotta be. This is the way it's gotta be. I was caught up in my idea of what it needed to be. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool color there. I like that. You see that? Oh, that's nice. So, <clears throat> I guess basically it took me, what, nine months to finally get myself up the courage to present this. And I just had the inspiration why don't you just do these live? Then you won't get so caught up in how you sound or, you know, how they're, because I just push a button basically. And then I, you know, I've decided to just pick a theme for the day and see what that theme brings. Not thinking too much. I guess I meditate a little bit about it. Um, but just not get too caught up in now, basically, following my own advice with painting, you know, it's really about finding something inside of yourself that's pulling you along, and it's usually not coming from the mind, although it can. You know, every one of us is unique, just like every one of those trees has a unique foundation. And that uniqueness for each of those trees over the years. So let's say you've um, you painted when you were younger. You're listening to these videos and you're going, man, I would love to paint again. But you got a story going on about how uh, oh, I got to find a place to set up. Oh, I just ruined my beautiful blue there. Let's see what I can do to get that back. So you're thinking about painting again. One of the reasons I am doing this is because <clears throat> it gives me a focus. And also the other thing is I, I just did some a painting class for somebody 
and it was just one session. And I, I know, and I, I taught classes, I taught workshops. One of the things that's always difficult for me is I know that <laughs> me just doing one session with somebody isn't really gonna do much more than just provide an inspiration. Um, because the learning really comes from you actually allowing yourself to play around and have fun with it and see what comes out for you. Don't go chasing after any butterflies, but really find that stillness within first. And then you can listen. While you're painting, there'll be places where I'll I'll just start to, you know, you might reach a place in a painting. Let's look at this one here. Something just doesn't feel right to me. So sometimes you want to just stand back and look at your painting and practice that stillness, the same stillness a tree has and feel inside as you're looking at the painting and you'll notice areas of it that just ah uh, just kind of bug ya well, don't necessarily think about what you have to do to change it but just remember that area just doesn't feel quite right maybe that's the area you go into or maybe you leave it alone because you don't know what to do with it you work on another area of the painting. Let's see here. I think I'm gonna play around with woo pop. So you leave that area that you don't know what to do with. And you go moving on to some other spot and you really get maybe you slow down in it spot and you just go you get really absorbed in what that spot is well as that place that you just started working on changes and shifts around it'll inform the other area maybe that other area now looks good so you don't have to do anything with it but then it might also give you an answer to what to do with that part of the painting that just didn't feel right to you. So I guess what I'm getting at is it's always going to take some time. Have some patience. One of the things paint will teach you is <laughs> you don't just blob the paint on and it's there. You got to play with it. See what it does. And if you're so caught up in you know what it needs to look like then you're not going to be really listening to yourself. Just be listening to thoughts, chasing butterflies. This is kind of a nice, nice painting today. Look at my camera. If you notice I had white areas before because I didn't position my camera right but anyway hope you enjoyed today this is my fifth uh, fifth recording I'm going to continue doing these use them I know it's a gift to you and how do I know that because this is a gift to me so um, if you're enjoying them please share I really appreciated people sharing and liking yesterday it's so much fun and um, we'll see you tomorrow.